What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are feeling the love. Ooh, we are feeling the love. Um I'm single AF, but that doesn't mean I don't like to, you know, go on dates, first dates, or just like feel pretty in general. And I feel like that is what this makeup tutorial is, well, an outfit, is all about. Valentine's Day is coming. If you're watching this as I post it, it is approaching. And for some, we like to pretend that it's not. But for those of you that are lucky in love, or you have plans of like a date, or you're going on a first date, or you've been with someone for a long time, and you're just, you know, celebrating that, then I've come up with this makeup tutorial and kind of like outfit idea for a date night it is just a super soft pink really quite easy as well glam look i just think perfect for valentine's day it's like flirty in all the right places and when i mean that i also am talking about the outfit as well which you will see at the end of the video do you know what this is just kind of like a pretty look in general that you could wear to go and pick up your mum from the station do you know what i mean but i have kind of done this with like a date look vibe in mind i'm just obsessed with the pink colors i think they're so pretty and it's, this look is going to look beautiful on anyone so i really hope you enjoy it and if you're liking the look of this makeup look already then just give this video a thumbs up smash it right now especially if you're like me and not gonna get smashed on valentine's day that's all the action I'm going to be getting. So can you just give my video a like? Because, yeah, much appreciated. I feel like let's go ahead and jump in to this look. Like I said, it is makeup and outfit included. All the details are in the description bar down below. Let's get into this date night glam. Right, I've got me pink stripy robe on. I'm feeling the vibes. I've actually got like a really cute bra underneath. But um, we're going to go ahead and do our eyes first. But I'm just going to apply a little bit of moisturiser to my skin now. So it gives me a little bit of time for it to sink in. So actually for moisturiser, I'm just going to take... um, Because we're wearing a little bit more of like a satin dewy foundation. I'm literally just going to take the Kylie Skin Face Moisturiser. I actually got the like travel set that she came out with. Just so I could try, a, um, you know, her skincare before, you know, jumping balls deep and um, buying anything of a bigger size, which I think was such a good idea. I'm not gonna lie, it took forever to arrive, but this moisturizer is just like a safe moisturizer. I know it looks, it doesn't affect my skin makeup, which is exactly what you want sort of before a date or anything. You don't wanna try like new products especially on your skin just because you don't obviously want anything to affect it you just want to wear stuff that you know looks good it's gonna last all evening and yeah just not ruin any other part of your makeup i'm now just gonna go ahead and do one eye off camera i think i know sort of the kind of vibe that we're going to be going for we are using the amrezi palette as you will soon see doesn't this just scream valentine's day it's pink it's glittery the colors are just so gorgeous um we're going to be doing the softest glam you have ever seen it's something with like pink and flirty is what i'm thinking of so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do one eye off camera so that's out of the way and done and i'll be back to do the other eye Duh. right so like i said we are going to be using the amrezi palette today so glad that you guys can get your hands on this now this is probably actually one of my favorite palettes that anastasia has ever come out with i think the colors are just so beautiful you can definitely take this to a day to a night look and it's got all of my favorite tones in it so first of all i'm going to be priming my eye i'm just going to be using concealer um oh my god why is all my stuff everywhere um right just going to be taking concealer on my eye to a prime and normally after i prime my eye i go straight in with eyeshadow but not today because like i said this is literally going to be like the softest glam ever we're going to use like two crease colors but barely even two it's mainly just one i want my eyelid to be kind of like super set so once i've applied my concealer to the lid i am just going to be where's my brush there it is there's a, there's a real pink theme going on and i'm just gonna be taking ah, just dropped my powder on the floor oh oh my god Oh, do you know how annoying that is? Anyway, I'm just going to be taking my loose powder and just setting my eye with this. Just so any powders that go on the top, aka eyeshadows, um, just blend super easily. And they're not going to be stuck to anything. So therefore super pig dark and pigmented. I really want them to be super, super light. 
so I am going to be setting it with powder but I feel like a lot of you probably do that anyway but I don't usually I feel like that's kind of a um a crucial step for this eye look and achieving really 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 soft glam so I'm going to be taking the shade New Yorker in the crease and like on a big, big, fluffy brush, really tapping a lot of the product off. I would so much rather like build up color than put on too much because I really want this to be super, super soft. And we are gonna be cutting the crease. So definitely from inner to outer corner so you get that cut crease effect. I'm gonna be kind of showing you the stages of this eye look because I feel like for Valentine's Day and for a first date or a date night or whenever you're watching this video there'll be certain levels that people don't want to take it or do want to take it and obviously you want to be feeling as comfortable as possible. so I'll be showing you like each kind of step of the way as to sort of like where you could leave it if that makes sense. So I'm going to be taking it onto the lid as well, just like buffing it into the outer corner, but then all the way from inner corner to outer corner, like so, and um, that's it. Like, that's the crease done. And um, I'm now going to take my concealer again and just carve out the crease. So be right back. So I've just carved out the crease. Nothing fancy. I know in my last tutorial, I did like a slightly lifted cut crease, but not today. We're not doing anything like fancy like that. I feel like now is not the day to be doing fancy techniques with your eyes. You just want it sort of plain, simple, flirty, and you know, easy. Easy as possible. You don't want to be stressing any more than you might already be on a day like this. So I'm then going to take a small shader brush and take the stays, the shade, the shade Anastasia. Why was that so hard to say? Um, beautiful rose gold colour, like, it's so gorgeous. There's a few kind of pinks in there. There's Reezy and there's Barb, but Reezy's just a little bit too dark of a pink, I feel like. I feel like rose golds are such a beaut- I don't know, I just always associate rose gold with like really pretty, effortless kind of first date, date night makeup. I feel it just complements every eyes. Pink is just like a flirty colour, but I think gold complements everyone, so you just can't really go wrong with rose gold. And this shade is so gorgeous. So yeah, just taking that all over the lid where we put that cut crease. Um, I only cut the crease really so we could really get the most out of that colour. I really wanted the pigment to show up so I wanted to give it a, a good base for it to cling to. I'm then going to go in with a slightly smaller fluffy brush again with the shade New Yorker um, and just kind of help diffuse that in the crease so it all blends together. And I know it's the same shade but it does kind of act a little bit dark because it's a smaller brush which I don't mind. I'm not deliberately trying to take this to really dark i don't want it to be really dark i'm just going to use it to blend in the crease and then also just kind of define the crease a little bit more so that anastasia shade on the lid really like has its moment and just going in with the fluffy brush again no additional product just making sure that it's all blended out like that now you could just leave it here if you want to but for me when i put that on the lid I, it is a beautiful color but i don't know i just wanted it to like sparkle a little bit more do you know what i mean because sometimes with satin colors they can fade a little bit throughout the night and i really just wanted this pretty rose gold sort of like sparkle to you don't know last throughout the evening and you guys know these are my favorite for adding sparkle these are the urban decay heavy metal eyeliners this is the shade grind which is like a pale pink and then this is the shade cat cool which is more of like a dark pink and i'm literally going to be like blending these together on the lid on top of where we put that anastasia shade i love doing this urban decay do these in so many different colors like golds bronze turquoises even they just add a beautiful subtle sparkle and because they're eyeliners they've already got like adhesive in them they're going to stick to the lid it's not going to go anywhere which is exactly what we want so i'm just kind of placing them and then i'm going to be layering them just where we put that anastasia shade and they're not too um heavy duty either obviously you know like with loose glitters you have to put the glue on and pack it on and it kind of just like gets rid of the colour underneath. I still want that colour to, you know, be visible and prominent. Just a little subtle sparkle. You know what I mean? I'm all about that subtle sparkle life. And I just think a pink, pink sparkle is just perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm now going in with the Cat Cool shade, which is darker. I always go in with the lightest shade first and then darkest. I don't know why, because I like to have the lightest one, the most pigmented, and then I just kind of go in with the darkest in the gaps. But... Yeah, I just think this is going to help sort of define the crease a little bit more as well. Who doesn't love a little bit of glitter? 
I feel like the palette itself has like inspired me as in the exterior of it. I do really like with your hand. These are just so easy to like diffuse out as well. I don't feel like I need to do any hardcore blending or anything like that. And again, once you've applied a little bit of glitter, you could just leave it there as well. I am going to be winging this look out. I do feel like wings are just so pretty, flirty, um, really elongate your eye, which I think, again, is super flirty and attractive and, and it suits everyone you know and you know what i do like to ask boys about makeup and um, makeup is like my job and i'm interested in what boys like and what boys you know think is pretty and you know what so many boys are like i like the you know and they do like this motion with the eyes and i'm like i mean a wing and they're like yeah 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 they like a winged eyeliner but obviously if this is a first date and you're stressed and you don't want it all to go wrong and it just to set off the mood don't do an eyeliner or you could do like a shadow liner you guys know I love that but I am just going to do a liquid eyeliner today so I'm just going to clean up underneath the eye this is a good technique as well if you're not confident with eyeliner to give you like a, a baseline to follow and guide so you're not doing it like completely free-handed I always just kind of like to go to the end of my eyebrow so they kind of like meet here yeah but you could just clean up underneath your eye and be done with it like that or like I said, you could do a shadow liner. I am going to be taking the Benefit Roller in brown. Brown, again, I just, I love brown eyeliner. I can't stress it enough. I think it just goes with everyone. It's a little less harsh and intimidating than black, especially if you've got lighter colour eyes. And I think it just kind of goes more with the browns and stuff on your lid. So I'm going to start on the outermost part of the eye and just sort of work from there and then build inwards. I don't want to start all the way in and take it all the way out because that's when I feel like mistakes happen. And then before you know it, it's all the way up to your eyebrow and you're like, ah! <laughs> That's when you get stressed. So make it easier for yourself. I'm going to start on the outermost part of the eye, like so. I don't want it to be a super big wing. I don't want it to be really intimidating. I just want a little cat flick. So I'm going to take it like maybe like one and a half centimeters out and just bring it back in. I always like to try if I'm going to be messy on like the bottom of the eyeliner, and um, because obviously that's so much easier to clean. Like literally, look, I've done like. Uh, a feather. We could just leave it like that, but it's just so I've got the pigment so then when I wipe it away, it's a clean sharp wing. Now I'm just gonna take it, I'm not gonna take it too far across, just kind of like, just over halfway I think is enough. Like so. So I'm just gonna take the white and give that a good old tidy up, because we don't want feathered wings on our dates, do we? Right, once we've done the eyeliner, like I've been saying, at a lot of these steps, you could just leave it there. But for me, I do like to smoke out eyeliner a little bit, but I don't want to, like, really, really smoke it out. I just almost want it to be, like, a gradient on the eye. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing the shade 1988 with OG. But I'm going to go 1998 OG, but then back into 1998 and just tap a lot of it off. And just not press it from the root the root, like the lash line almost. I'm just gonna go where the liner is and just kind of like press. Press it on the top and across. So you can see like the shade is lighter than the eyeliner. So it is creating like, it's more like an ombre effect. Do you know what I mean? It goes like dark, light, and then the kind of crease colors and the lid colors, which is what I want. So it's not like I'm smoking out and like matching the color type thing. So it looks like one big smoky wing. I just kind of want it to go from like dark to light and like then into like the crease colors use your finger use whatever you want really at this point it's kind of using like patting motions as well i think that makes a difference just makes the eyeliner obviously it doesn't take it away you can still see it but i just think it makes it a little bit softer and like i said i really want this look to just be soft and look really just effortless and seamless even though you've been sat here for 20 minutes doing your liner and the glitter and all of that kind of stuff you want it to look like you've not put in a huge effort but really you have just gonna tidy up any of that brown shadow like so so once you're happy with your eyeshadow you might have been happy like five steps back 
uh, you know, this is where I wanted to take it. You can then highlight your inner corner. I'm going to highlight it now, but I'll probably end up going back in with it. I'm going to take the shade Wasted, which is the most beautiful soft pink, like baby pink. So really just going to tie in with the pink theme on the eyes, on the inner corner. I'm really loving this, like soft pink inner corner. And it's kind of like a sparkly satin as well. So it's nothing too shiny and it's not too matte. Um, I'm also going to take this underneath the brow bone because it's such a beautiful shade so just really subtly dust it underneath the brow bone but that is the eyes done besides lashes so I'm just going to pop on some mascara and for lashes they're in the wrong box but I know that they are from Unicorn Lashes I will leave a kind of like picture of what they look like on the screen and the name down below I'm going to pop them on they're super wispy and winged out I'll show you what they look like in the box actually I suppose that's not really a problem but they're not lily lashes, they're just in that box. But you can see, just super wispy and winged out. I'll leave the name here, actually. That's what I do. I'll leave the name of what these are. They are from Unicorn Lashes. So they're just super kind of like, not too long. They're just wispy, winged out, super going to complement this eye look. And they would, they would look so beautiful if you didn't even have eyeliner on anyway. Really comfortable and easy to apply. Don't want to be faffing about with a thick lash band for Valentine's Day or a first day or anything like that. You just want to avoid complications. These lashes are going to look beautiful beautiful on everyone so yeah I'm gonna pop them on and I will show you what the eye look looks like so these are what the eyes look like I feel like these lashes just add the perfect amount of drama nothing too like intimidating and scary they're just fluffy on all the right places really help to elongate the eye I love the like softness of the pink and god that palette is just so beautiful and you could definitely turn this look into a night look if you're not using this for valentine's day or anything like that and just kind of going from a day to a night you could add some darker colors in the crease um love this so now we can move on to the skin which as you guys know is my favorite part so as we've already moisturized we can go straight in with primer a few of these products are going to be similar to my last makeup look in the sense of the all matte long wearing makeup look because i really want this to be long wearing it's not going to be super matte or anything like that but some of the products are just really great at making your makeup last and just staying perfect which i feel for a first day or valentine's day is fairly essential so i'm going to be going in with the all nighter primer from urban decay i feel like when I used this in my last video, a bunch of you, especially ones that have slightly more oilier skin, was so excited about this. This is a new product from them. Wasn't there that review on Sephora once where someone was like, girl, I had like eight hours of sex with my boyfriend and the all nighter setting spray. My makeup didn't come off, um, so it definitely lasts or something like that. It was like a review. It was so funny. And now I'm thinking in combination with the setting spray and the face primer, whatever you're planning to do, um, on a date or Valentine's Day or anything like that, your makeup is not gonna budge if you're using these. So I feel like it's a plus. And especially because the foundation I'm gonna be using is of a slightly like satinier finish. I definitely want to be using products that are gonna make sure that that doesn't get super dewy um, throughout the evening or like a foundation that I feel like I'm gonna need to constantly touch up because that's really annoying. You don't wanna be touching up your makeup on a on a on a first date or anything like that so as for foundation we're going to be using the anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation i forget how much i love this this is so so beautiful it's like a full, medium to full coverage finish and it has like a, lu a luminous finish which i think um for date night is gorgeous really beautiful looks kind of like the most natural this foundation is perfect for that yeah just buffing that all in now i can move on to concealer um to be fair i was tw tw torn up between using like a nars foundation and stuff like that because i just think nars face products are they're my favorite and they are so beautiful on the skin so i am going to be taking the nars radiant creamy concealer this is in the shade canal because it's not going to be like a date night look if i'm not wearing something nars on my skin because like i said nars products just always look the best on everyone so as it's like a date night i want my skin like i said to kind of look as natural as possible so i'm not going to be using like heavy contour or anything like that i just want to warm up the skin and i find that easiest with more of like a cream contour but i'm kind of just using this to bronze and this is the la girl pro conceal in peaceful bronze i'm just gonna do 
a little line. But I'm gonna do my chinny chin chin. Don't want no double chin on this date. A cream bronzer is just so much more like natural on the skin and a little bit less harsh and, and just in case you do make a mistake, it's easier to blend out. So once you are happy kind of with like the bronze contour situation, we can go ahead and set it all in place with powder and I used this in my last video. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. This stuff really does just like lock in your makeup. It's not going anywhere and I am gonna be using my Real Technique sponge to apply this. I'm gonna use it to kind of bake, bake the contour. So I just wanna make sure I really packed on and set those specific areas because we don't want this makeup to budge. Right, I'm gonna let myself just bake for a few minutes um, and in that time, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm just using the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil and just setting it in place with a clear brow gel. There's nothing different there, but just gonna give us some time for this all to set in place and bake, so. BRB. Hey, the eyebrows are done. We're getting there. We're getting there. Can now just dust away this powder. I'm now just going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. So to do that, I'm literally just going to be taking that shade New Yorker, which is like the only shade that we had in the crease, and really, really lightly just dusting this underneath the eye. So I'll just zoom you in and these are now the eyes fully, fully complete. You can um, re-emphasize that inner corner highlight, which I think I'm gonna do. Let me like lift the eye as well. Back on to the face. It's not gonna be a beautiful date night look if I'm not using my Rachel Revolution palette. It is perfect for this. You could have even used the eyeshadows in this if you want, but I didn't have like a shimmery pink besides the blusher, which I wanted to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Golden Hour Shimmery Bronzer. I think this is like a must in your makeup routine for a first date a date night, a Valentine's Day. It's just so subtle, especially if you're not really gonna be like contouring. This is just gonna add the most perfect sun-kissed, just glow to your skin. And I'm also gonna be taking the sun-kissed blusher from my palette as well. Again, a beautiful rose gold, really gonna tie in with the eyes. Has a really subtle satin finish. I just love it. Sorry, I didn't mean to didn't mean to squeal at you there. And then for highlighter, I don't want anything too blinding. I almost just want like a little dusting. So I am gonna be taking a loose powder highlighter today. This is the one from let me just find my brush. This is from Artist Couture in the shade Conceited. It's just a really beautiful soft gold and I'm actually just gonna be taking the lid whatever is in the lid already is what I'm gonna be using and just a, a brush like this this is from Doll Beauty I think this is just their highlighter brush just tap what's in the lid and just the lightest hand press on to your cheekbones like so I want this to look like a dusting. I want this to look like a fairy has just come along and just sprinkled a natural, beautiful highlight onto your skin. Literally just like that. I just want it to look like a healthy glow. I, I want it to look like, I want to fool the boy and think that, yeah, this is just my natural glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. You kinda wanna line your lips with something that isn't too much darker than your natural lip color, cause you know sometimes lip products can separate and you don't wanna just be left with this like dark lip line. So my favorite one at the moment is the Morphe Love By Lip Liner. So I'm gonna be lining my lips with that. And then for lipstick, I wasn't sure whether to go matte or glossy. So I thought I'll go smack bang in the middle and I'll go for a beautiful satin lipstick. So this one is from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade JK Magic. Like so. Oh my god, sorry. I've never, I don't actually think I've really like reached for that lipstick before. And that with that lip liner, gorgeous. Uh, this makeup I just think is so, so pretty. Obviously, I'm going to finish off with my two final steps that I've been love, 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 loving at the moment to making my makeup look really natural, but then also lasting. I'm going to be spraying my face with the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray and then going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. These two together, match made in heaven. What this does? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then going in with the matte spray. And that is the makeup complete. So we can take these. Oh, 
clips out now. So that is the makeup side of things complete, like a super pretty, effortless, soft, soft glam Valentine's Day date night look. I'm now going to go ahead and show you just like a little option of something I would wear. My hair is already just sort of like in loose curls. I feel like that's just, you can't go wrong with a like loose beachy wave. It just suits everyone. It's so, so, so pretty. You can even maybe have it like half up, half down. But yeah, I've just gone for like a loose wave with my hair. And now I'm just going to go pop a little top outfit on to kind of show you just a little suggestion, idea, something I would maybe wear. And then this look is complete. Right, I am back. I have got changed. I've literally just popped like a pair of really thin, gold hoops in. I feel like, I don't know, a hoop just kind of like mixes up the outfit a little bit, especially because we're wearing white and I feel like that's quite like, you know, an innocent colour. Hoops just make it a little bit more playful and I'm trying to like accommodate here for people that might be going on like a Valentine's Day dinner with like someone that they've been there for a while, maybe a first date, but like this is kind of maybe a little bit more of like a mix and match outfit. Like it's out there, but it's also not. So basically I'm wearing this like sheer shirt from a PLT. It's gorgeous. It's white. White I thought was kind of like innocent and like I said the hoops kind of like mix it up a little bit but like I said I feel like with first dates you want to, with everything whether it's your clothes or like your behaviour, you want to like tease but not give it all away if that makes sense. So on a first date especially I wouldn't want to like fully get my chest out you know but this shirt is, it is sheer so I've put like a really thick material bralette on underneath so it's like I'm covered but you can kind of see what I'm working with. If you're going out for Valentine's Day with your partner that you've been with for a while they obviously already know what you're working with but like this is just kind of like letting you know what's gonna be for dessert if you know what I mean. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have left everything, including the outfit, all the makeup details left down below. Um, whenever you're watching this, have an amazing night, have an amazing Valentine's Day, have an amazing date night, if that's what this is. Good luck if it's a first date, or if you're just wearing this because you want some makeup inspo to wear to the supermarket, then, um, have fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join the family. I post two times a week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.